Hi guys, I'm fishing today. I thought I'd better get a session of fishing in before I go back to Hong Kong. So I'm at a place very close to where I live. The weather has been horrible, but still bearable. Yesterday I had a very quick session and didn't catch anything, no luck. But today, hopefully, I'll have some luck. So let's see how we go. Come on. <laughs> Came off. Guys, there was a flathead just there and I missed it. <sighs> Come on. I'm on the fish. That's a very small one there. I'm on the fish and it's on a flathead. It's a very small flathead. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on. Oh, guys. <laughs> Here's the flathead. Okay, it's a very small one. I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> nice. Oh, I don't have my pliers, which is a problem. There's my pliers. There you go. Really bad spikes. Bye. <laughs> I'm not really used to using the soft plastics, but I'm trying my best. Oh, there we go. I'm not really a soft plastics person but knowing Sydney and the species of fish that's here I think a soft plastics work really really well so I'm going to fish for another few hours and this is just a local place near my home so I thought you know since I go past this place all the time I'm sure there's going to be some flatheads here and I thought I'd give it a go and as you guys can see I'm using a spinning reel not a bait caster as usual and it's because for soft plastics the spinning reel is much easier to cast especially the lighter ones unless you're using BFS bait caster but then again they don't cast as far as a spinning reel so there are benefits for a bait caster as well as a casting or a spinning reel I caught that flathead in the first 20 minutes so that flathead hit my soft plastic on a drop and I felt a bit of a tap when it was blowing down and that's when I knew that that was a fish now that flathead was about 35 to 40 centimeters I need to get something bigger than that before I take a photo with it oh I'm on something I'm on another flat oh this one's a good size and it's in a very very shallow water this is definitely a good size Oh, but it's hooked onto some... Oh! <laughs> Guys, here we go, another very small one. The very tiny flathead. The reason why I don't want to hold it properly is that there's really sharp areas around his gill. So, it's not the best to hold it. So, what I can do is... Uh... Okay, there we go. Very small one. Bye bye. Another one. That's two. That's not bad. Two flatheads within 30 minutes or even 25 minutes. But those are very, very small ones. So let me see if I can get something over 50 because that one was only about 30 centimeters or even less. Like the flatheads that I'm catching right now, they're only in like 20 to 30 centimeters of water. And because it's a rising tide, these flatheads. Are waiting for the tide to go up higher so they can reach the bait fish so they're kind of like at the edge where it's a little deeper where they feel a bit more protected and just waiting to come up to the shoreline well i don't know if you guys can see if there's a stingray just here swimming across just down there <laughs> 
seen quite a few stingrays actually. I saw it while kayaking at Narrow Bean Lake the other day. Oh, just had a hit up the front. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, this is a very small one too. Oh, I had something there. Oh. Just had something and missed. Wonder what it was. They all seem to be very close to the shore. But those are the smaller ones, I suppose. Not the big ones. Let's try it again, closer to the shore. And I'll go diagonally this time. Nope, not interested. Okay, what's around here? It's a jetty. It feels very deep here. So that's a good sign. I'm on. Oh, I'm on. Okay, I missed that one and I misrecorded. I had a feeling there was going to be something there. But it was a very small one though. Okay, let's move on to the other side. Don't think I can get anything here. As I spook, as I spook them. But actually, you know what? Try one more here. Flatheads are very, very territorial. So if you have one, you've got one hit. Usually there won't be another one, but it depends on the size too. That will determine how territorial they are, because it will determine if they're ready to mate or not. Okay, I'm going to try the other side now. Keep going. I really thought there'd be something there. Well, I did miss a hit on the other side, but here, nothing. Hmm. Oh, I'll just have to keep going. But I thought that was a fish, but it was a snag. <laughs> Gave me a heart attack. Good thing I'm using a weedless hook. I haven't had any snags, like proper snags yet. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on one. It's a flatty, it's a flathead, it's a similar size. Oh no, it's a flounder. Oh, wow. Okay, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to catch a flounder. Uh. Hi. Yes. I honestly didn't expect to catch a flounder, but I feel so bad for it because it just fell off and I didn't have my lip grip. So I couldn't really release it properly and I feel so bad. At least it looked like it swam away really well. So, so I'm just going to assume it's okay. Hey, let's keep going. That's the third catch of the day. Okay guys, nothing else after the flounder. Just had a few small hits here and there, but nothing big and nothing hooked up. But I'm getting a little hungry and a little cold, so I'm gonna go home now. And hopefully next time I'll catch more fish. So catch you next time, bye.